Hi, my name is Diane Lee. Um, I have a Teachers Pay Teacher store and a blog called Teach Pre-K. I love teaching preschool three fours and pre-K. I teach both. Uh, I teach the little guys in the morning and the pre-kindergartners in the afternoon. This is my 12th year. Kind of fell into the job when I lost my job as a clothing rep of all things in 2008. Just kind of filled in for a friend. Had a couple really exhausting, horrible days. But even the worst day, I was so happy. So I felt like this is what I'm supposed to do. This is my calling. I am supposed to do this. I was a great mom. My kids were in high school at the time and I just kind of had the touch and I've kind of always had the touch with kids, but working with kids is exhausting and can be really hard. So it wasn't a life goal of mine, but it has turned out to be my passion. When I am not teaching school, I am working on resources for other teachers and for my own classroom. Um, I sell my resources in my Teachers Pay Teachers store. Mostly I started that out of necessity. I just started making things as I needed them. I had no tech experience at all, didn't know how to work PowerPoint, could do a few things on Word. Um, I went to YouTube to find just how do teachers make these resources because I was spending my money on them and I thought, I can do this and that way I'll make them. And then I ended up selling them and it's it's been a great little business. I've enjoyed it, but mostly I love teaching and I love helping other teachers. And while I'm here and I'm thinking about it, I wanna tell you guys something. If somebody messages me on Teachers Pay Teachers and they say, hey, I love this resource, but I would really like it in let's say it's an uppercase letter. This actually happened to me this week. I had a resource somebody bought that's uppercase letters. I can color letters. And they were kind of like little colorable anchor charts. Um, if you message people on Teachers Pay Teachers, I know I do this and I'm just imagining most people do. And you say, hey, I love this resource, but I would like lowercase letters like this person did with me. It takes me two minutes to do this stuff. I can get this done, well, two minutes is an exaggeration. I can get this stuff done in maybe 10 minutes. So this cute lady said, <coughs> sorry, um, I love this resource, really want lowercase letters, and are you making numbers? No, I didn't have lowercase. No, I had no intention of making numbers, but I was working on this big um, number bundle, which Ooh, I want to share it with you guys because you guys will love it so much. It's something I'm making for my classroom, but I will end up selling it on Teachers Pay Teachers because I think it's phenomenal and I will probably use it every week, but that's off topic. So um, she just said, you know, do you make this stuff? And I don't, I didn't have it ready, but I said, you know what? I'll do it for you. It won't take me any time and I'll do it for you because like I said, love to help other teachers. So if you are watching this, and you have like a favorite Teachers Pay Teachers uh, seller and they just don't have something quite like you like it, go to the question. Uh, they, they have like a little where you can ask them a question, I think. I mean, I'm on the seller side, so I don't see much on the buyer side anymore. But message them and ask them. And you know what? Most of the time they'll do it for you. I don't want to be inundated, but I don't charge people most of the time. Um, I will just make it for free and I'll just send them the file and I won't offer it for sale for everyone else. I won't put it for free on my site unless it's something I want to develop a little further, but I have been known to send people giant folders and files of resources just because I have it and I want to help them. And they asked me, ask people, you ask people for help. Most of us are selling on Teachers Pay Teachers just because we do want to help people um, and we want to help other teachers. And we started out by helping ourselves because we couldn't find what we wanted. So we want to make your life easier too. Anyway, off topic. I just want to share with you guys um, a few things today that I absolutely love. A few of these things are things I just discovered and I love. In fact, I'm going to share one of those with you now. 
Um, if you are familiar with the Target dollar spot, which if you're a teacher, you probably are. If you're a teacher and you are not, oh my gosh, you have to go there. But that's neither here nor there. Um, I was looking for cute little containers and trays. Target, they have them all the time. My favorite size is this big size. I use this um, for when I put out Play-Doh, when we do a super messy art project, it saves my table. I rinse these out in my sink, scrub them out a little. They stay like new. There's some different sizes and dip different depths of trays that they've had in the past. Um, I think I have every size they have ever made and I have too many of all of them except for this size, which is the only size I want. So start looking for these end of July, mid August, they go super fast, but you can get a lot of, a lot of trays and a lot of ways to organize your classroom and your centers there. But I discovered as I was putting together my little office you see here this past summer, um, desk drawer organizers. I have these cute little bamboo organizers that I love so much but I discovered brightly colored stuff in the same sizes. Blew my mind. So um, this is great. Half sheet of paper fits right in here. You put like a little activity in here, put the manipulatives in this tray, set them out at your workstation. Everything self-contained. Love anything self-contained. We all know preschoolers and pre-K kids can make a gigantic mess and they can get stuff everywhere um, but these come in all those desk organizer sizes I've propped up little like activities in this size and there's even a longer a longer one so if you're familiar with the desk organizer uh, little component system um, all I did was on Amazon I looked up uh, uh, drawer organizer, office drawer organizer, bright colors. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I, I have two sets here at home um, and I have four sets because I usually do things in groups of four at school. So love those. That is a new discovery for me and you will love it. So like I said, go to amazon.com, just in your search bar, look up office drawer organizers, bright colors right there. You can find anything and everything on Amazon. I know some people have feelings about Amazon. I think if um, you have so much money that you are launching yourself into space, you should be giving some of that cash to schools and teachers. And if you already are, you should be giving more. Anyway, that's just my opinion. But um, most of the things I want to show you today are super inexpensive. You probably have them in your house. You probably have them in your classroom right now. But for those of you who don't, um, you might learn something about repurposing some of the items. Uh, everybody needs clothespins. Uh, I use these for count and clip activities. Great fine motor work using your pinchy fingers with the little kids. Um, lots of activities, different math activities, literacy activities with these. My kids like the colored um, clothespins the best, but they're kind of expensive. You can look for them on Amazon and find them. I uh, dyed these myself. So these are just the cheap, you know, you get a bag of 500 for 250 um, at the drugstore. And I dyed these in liquid watercolor mixed with some water. And I made every color of the rainbow. And the kids love them. And I didn't have to spend any extra money and I didn't have to get anything new. It was something I already had. Another super important item to have craft sticks are not just for your art center. Um, yes, I do use these for art projects. You can also dye them the same way I dyed the clothespins, but I use these for uh, circle time. My classes are really small now, so I haven't been using this much lately, but I will write their names on Popsicle Stick. I will have two containers on my little cart at my rug. So when there's a special job, like maybe counting something out for number of the day, or doing a, a special job that we don't always have. Like uh, I just put dirt in a pumpkin that has seeds in it. It's going to sprout. Somebody might have to water the pumpkin. I will pull a popsicle stick out of one jar, read the name on it. That's who gets the turn that day. I put it in the other jar. Those are the kids who have had the turns. So I always know who's had a turn and who hasn't had a turn. So I get around to everybody. Good classroom management tool as well. You say if I pull your stick 
and you're not sitting crisscross applesauce paying attention, um, you're gonna not have your turn. I'm gonna put your stick um, back in the jar. So gotta have those popsicle sticks. Um, another is the bigger sizes of the popsicle sticks. I have all three sizes. I use them for crafts. I use them for mixing sticks for science centers. There's a thousand and one uses for these. Um, when you do your doctor center and your dramatic play, you've got tongue depressors. Oh God, I hope they don't put them in their mouths though. But anyway, great item to have. Another fantastic manipulative is uh, pom-poms that you can color sort. They usually come in a giant bag with all different sizes. If I was in my classroom, guys, nothing would be in these pretty glass jars. Everything's in, you know, safe containers. But you can pattern with these. You can measure with these. You can count with these. They don't make noise. I have filled sensory bins with these um, and used like toilet tissue tubes, paper towel tubes um, for kind of a little quiet marble run activities. But a million and one uses besides just at your art center for pom-poms. Um, I just watched a video from Pre-K Pages, Vanessa Levin. You gotta go watch all of her videos. They're amazing. She's amazing. I, I love her. When I was first starting out, I went to her, her site and that's where I got probably most of my center ideas for my first year instead until I started making um, all my own stuff. So and that's just a side note. As you can tell, kind of scattered um also bear manipulatives i have these little bears that come in three sizes i got baby bear mama bear papa bear uh we use these for counting we use these for measuring we use these for a little bit of sorting sorting by size mostly because they only come in four colors i inherited these in my classroom they come in the primary colors red yellow and blue and also green um, when we do our fairy tale unit and we're doing um, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, we kind of act it out with these. So that's a good literacy um, idea with these. But I went ahead when I had just a little extra money and on my wish list was uh, the bears that come in all these colors. They're in every color of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. So great for color sorting, um, great for counting, great for filling in letters or forming letters. Uh, really, you can put these in your sensory bin. So many different things you can do with these. These are definitely worth it. Again, I went to Amazon and just typed in uh, rainbow bear math counters, and there they were. So I got those. Um, I have, this is just part of my little home collection. You guys, this is 1 20th of what I've got of these. I have so many mini erasers. It's ridiculous. I have them for every single theme, um, throughout the year. The best thing is these are, look at my hair guys. Oh God. Okay. That's, you could, have you ever done things on the camera and it goes the wrong way? Um, Target Dollar Spot has these. Always, for every single holiday of the year, every time of the year, I finally had to cut myself off because I have too many. But we use these for measuring. We use these for sorting. We use these for counting. We use these for measuring. We use these for storytelling. I throw some of them that go with my theme of my sensory bin, anything. And they're very inexpensive. You get a bag of, I think, like 20 or 30 for a buck. Um just I usually get four of everything I want because like I said I do almost everything in groups of four my classes are smaller this year so I do things in groups of threes but um that is super important and great I love these clear buttons again these aren't easy to find I inherited these but if you go to Amazon and you type in clear buttons for education games you can probably find these I love these because they're see-through when we are doing a mark the letter mark the number um, or vocabulary bingo whatever you cover you can see through these so I do a lot of like draw and cover activities so we'll draw a letter card we find it on our mat we cover it with the clear button 
That way, if I'm at the table with the kids, I can look and check and I'll be like, you know what? That's not a lowercase b, remember. Flip the, the bump around and whatever. But they also come in different shapes. Um, like I said, oval. I don't have very many things that have ovals in my classroom, so I really appreciate that. Stars, hexagons, triangles, circles, rectangles. Love these clear buttons. Absolutely love them. A lot of people borrow these from me, and it freaks me out. I'm so afraid I'm not going to get them back, but I always do. Um, you guys, linking cubes. These are great fine motor. They take a little bit of force to push together. Um, they come in many colors, including brown, rust, black, white, colors that we don't see all the time, plus your, your standard red, orange, light blue, dark blue, green, yellow. Um, but they don't come in pink, and, pink or purple. They don't come in the box. They come in this box of, I think, three to 500. And so you have plenty, you order them one time, you've got a ton of them. I inherited those, but I've ordered extra because the kids like to measure the entire hallway. They like to measure the room. They like to measure tables with these, but you can also use them for patterning. I found by, again, I go to Amazon for everything. I found purple and pink. Um, I saw somebody's blog, I think it was Teaching Little Minds. Anyway, I really, 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 really love her stuff. And she had purple and pink. And I'm like, where do you get purple and pink Unifix cubes? Um, I just went to Amazon and searched purple Unifix cubes, pink Unifix cubes. So those came extra. They weren't in the set. Uh, the set. But another thing these are great for besides counting and measuring is patterning. So I'm going to see. I've got some down here, you guys. I want to see what I've got so that I can show you. But um, I'll use these for patterning, um, teaching patterning, showing patterning um, at the rug. When I introduce patterns to my kiddos, we practice patterns. See, I've got this, you know, pink, blue, pink, blue. So we've got the pattern. If we're counting with these, sometimes, let's say my number of the day for circle time is four, I will put together this tower and I will show, wow, look two blue, two pink. Do we have, and we have one, two, three, four, wait, so two and two, is that four? Yeah, it's four. So it's kind of a way to break up the numbers. So yeah, I love doing that. You need to have, I think this is the last thing I'm going to show you guys because this video is getting long, but uh, magnetic numbers and letters. I use these on cookie sheets um, just for center activities. Again, pre-K pages, she does the cutest thing. She gets little stuffed dogs. She hot glues a magnet to their nose. She puts these in little dog dishes, hello, that you can just get at the dollar store. And you put the little dog in the dish and it comes out and it's got a letter or a number on its nose. Adorable, adorable activity. You ask the kid, what's this number, whatever. Um, so you can do a little informal assessment. She has a video, I think, on our YouTube channel all about that little activity. But I do a thing called name of the day um, for circle time and I just rotate through my class all year long. I don't do the three fours until after Christmas because they're not ready. But pre-K, we start right off the bat. I scramble the letters up on a magnetic dry erase board, start out the year by writing their name. They match the letters underneath and I don't write the name. That's level two. The kids are so excited about changing levels, but um, you got to have these. You, you got to. It, they go beyond the refrigerator of your childhood and go right into your classroom. Um, so yeah, that was it for today in my office. I'll try to do this again in my classroom. So you can see my classroom and see how I have it set up. Everyone sets their classroom up a little differently, but kind of the same. Um, but there's some things in my classroom I really want to share with you guys that I think you guys would really enjoy. Um, so yeah, hopefully I will keep doing these every week, maybe more than once a week, but um, leave any comments below. Tell me some things you have to have in your classroom that maybe I skipped over. I probably do have them in my classroom. These are things I have in my office. So think these are things that I know I use over and over and over as I'm making resources for my classroom. So I always keep these things in mind. 
Um, no preschool classroom can be complete without a set of blocks either. So anyway, you guys, thanks so much for listening. I've enjoyed every minute and I'll talk to you later. Bye.